Yo, what's up? Here we have the X Bank P7 and MC Hammer Tesla Model 3 Performance. And today I'm gonna do something fun. Yes, uh, I can't wait to drive this car, but okay, hang on, hold your horses. I found some. Where, where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this was in the glove box. And I was thinking, hey, what is that? And then I asked X Bank, what is this? And they say, well, it's this adapter, this AC adapter. You can use it as a household plug for when you want to plug in your, whatever, uh, microwave oven. <laughs> I was like, ooh, really? So you notice something, it has the wrong gender. So let me show you, by the way, the charge port. We have two charge ports. You haven't seen it before. Okay, look, it has two charge ports here. Oh, I just came. Eh? Huh? How do you think about that? Ancient Chinese secret. You see, this one has the wrong gender compared to uh, in. Uh, well, actually, we can we can look here. See, you see, this one they have the pins poking out there and something. Okay, and then look at Tesla Model Three, the European version, right? Looks like this. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is what I talked about yesterday when I mentioned the bastard cable. And then here, this is the GPT plug. Looks like a Chanmu, but this is the fast charging plug for, uh, for China. So let me see, if that one is open... Hey, what the heck? Huh? What happens if you double, double penetrate the car? You know, you, you put... You just plug it in both sides. What's gonna happen then? Will the car explode? Okay, whatever. But now let's see. Okay, so then we take this adapter. See, so yeah, I'm supposed to do some banana box test. The banana boxes are in there, but we need to test this thing here. Okay, plug it in. Whoa, there was some notification, whatever. I'm not sure what's up. Wait, it. it you see here? The screen shows as if we are plugged in. Okay, but we are really not plugged in. We're just, it, it doesn't even light up green. How do you activate this thing? Is it supposed to be green here? Okay, maybe, maybe I have to close this port or whatever. Wait, is that charge port still open? Okay, let's try. Close this one. Maybe this, is, this has to be closed. Maybe it's not foolproof. Okay, can we just, can we plug in this one? This is the Metron charging cable. Uh, and it has the adjustable stuff. This is the same cable I use for charging the, the... Nothing happens. Reset. Okay, you know what? I suspect that the software has not been enabled. Okay, there, the charge port over there, uh, close. So, I think the software is not ready for it yet, but uh, in the future, you can use, oh, there's the draggy. Yeah, draggy for the win. Yeah, but you see, it's doing something. Okay, maybe I should show you guys how I do this. You can use Google Translate I downloaded the package, so you just do it like this, point it there, and then it says, preparing for charging. No, we're not preparing for charging. 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Well, I don't know, I need to learn Chinese, yeah. Okay, that is a fail test. <laughs> but in the future, it should work. So let me show you, by the way, this adapter. I mean, you could help other, Okay, we can pull it out. You could help other cars or you could go camping and you pull. You see, this one is rated for 10 amp, 200. I'm not sure how they count it. I think what matters is the number of amps. You can pull 10 amps. So you, you should be able to pull at, at least 2.3 kilowatt. So this is, this is good shit. Uh, the Honda is just child's toy. The Honda was 1,500 watt. This is 2.3 kilowatt. Oh yeah, but it doesn't work. 
unfortunately it doesn't work so but in the future it will work and why don't tesla or other car manufacturer also make this but okay obviously you know for you guys who don't know you you simply cannot pull 2.3 kilowatt ac out of the battery unless you do some kind of conversion but then normally okay every car has an onboard charger so but from what i understand it's just one way you put it trans i mean it's let me see if i can um it's it's um it's a rectifi rectifi rectifier technically right it takes ac converts it to dc into the battery but you cannot simply reverse it back take dc back to ac because then you need an inverter and there is no inverter in here well actually there's technically an inverter for the car but the I don't know what the whole magic, the, the ancient Chinese secret, I don't know what it is, but before we end the video, we just have to do this. Oh, I just came. Oh. Okay, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching. <laughs> and talk to you later.